Benedictine Sisters of the Divine Providence, a story of true love and dedication. Maria and Justina Schiaparoli biography. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful town in Italy called Kinolopo. Many people lived there. These people happily took part in all the activities of the church. The priest Ambrosio was good and kind to everyone. The children loved him very much and never missed a single mass. Every Saturday, priest Ambrosio baptized all the newborn babies. One Saturday, he baptized the Clemente Schiaparol. Clemente grew up and fell in love with a beautiful girl called Mariana. They got married and went to live in another town called Castle San Giovanni, much bigger than Kinolopo. As a seed grows and bears a fruit, in the same way the love of Clemente and Mariana bore a fruit. Mariana gave birth to a little girl called Maria. Baby Maria was baptized in the church of the town. It seemed as if the sun had become more beautiful that day, because God had received a new birth. Our little friend Maria was four years old when our Lord looked at her and saw that she was very lonely. So he gave her a sister, a plump and beautiful baby. Her parents called her Justina. Justina was baptized in a beautiful church of Castle San Giovanni. Her parents were very happy because after her baptism, she had also become a daughter of God. Unfortunately, the joy and the happiness of our two little girls came to an end. God called their mom to live with him in paradise. So Maria had to look after the house and take care of her brothers and sisters. She did this with great love and affection. Maria was only nine years old and she was rather small. Only with great effort and on tiptoe could she reach the cooking stove when she cooked. With the help of her sister Justina, she managed to do everything. Mr. Clement felt pity for his children who had lost their mom, and seeing their need for a mom, he married another girl called Martha. Martha was a very good woman. Soon afterwards, he moved to another town called Voguera because he was earning very little income. Our little friends, Maria, Justina, and their last-born sister, Luigia, were taken to study in another town and started living with the other children in a big house. The lady who took care of them, that was called Benedetta, and she was a very nice person. In that institute, the sisters were very happy. They played, studied, and prayed with the other children living there. Some people in that town was very bad. They did not want Benedetta to take care of these poor children. So they sent them to a town far away. Benedetta took Maria and Justina with her. By this time, they had grown up. Benedetta opened a small school for children in this town where the two sisters worked as teacher. Unfortunately, Maria and Justina could not stay there for long because their father Clemente and their sister Luigia became very ill and lived far away in a town called Volvira. They had to go back home and took after them. At home, with great love, they took care of their sick father and their little sister, who had even become blind. During that time, a very sad event took place in Voguera. A great war broke out. Many people died, a lot of houses were destroyed, and children were seen 
wandering in the streets because their parents were dead. Soon after that a great epidemic of a dangerous disease spread out, many children and adults died. Maria and Justina, the two kind and silent sisters, walked along the streets, gathering the orphan children and bringing them to their home. All the town people greatly admired these two sisters who prayed a lot and cared for the poor children. Maria and Justina, on the course of their service, resolved to become nuns and went to talk to the priest who blessed them and so the two sisters professed as nuns. Thus, they totally dedicated their lives to Jesus and to abandoned children. The number of the children sheltered in the house increased day by day, but there was always room for new arrivals. One day, Sister Justina went to collect some firewood in the forest. To her great surprise, she found a little baby abandoned there. The baby was crying and shivering with cold. She took the baby home and showed her to her sister Maria and the other children living with them. Everyone was very happy for this special gift sent by God. One day, they had nothing to eat. Sister Justina called all the sisters and the children to pray together and ask God to send them something to eat. When they had finished praying, someone knocked at the door. When they opened the door, they saw some soldiers standing outside. They had brought enough food for them all. The day turned out to be a day of great joy and happiness. Another time, a beautiful and kind lady appeared at the door. She spoke in a very kind and gentle manner, telling Sister Justina to continue praying a lot and not to worry at all. Before leaving, she left behind a basket full of delicious fruits and eggs for the sister and the children. The lady was no ordinary person. She was Mary, the mom of Jesus in person, for known who where she went. Since their childhood, Maria and Justina liked to work a lot, and they always advised the children to work, pray, and study wholeheartedly, and they would please God in that manner. Sister Justina was greatly loved by the children and the sisters. The children always sat around her like little chicks around the loving and protecting hand. After many years of hard work, prayers and dedication for the homeless, abandoned poor children, Sister Maria and Sister Justina were called by Jesus in heaven. This is the short story of Mother Maria and Mother Justine Schiaparoni, who spent their whole life loving and caring for children, especially the ones who were very poor and had no parents to take care of them. Today, there are many nuns in the world who are caring on the good works of the Schiaparoli sisters. These nuns are known as Benedictine Sisters of the Divine Providence. They have great trust in our Father who is in heaven and have a great love for children, especially the abandoned and the poor ones. Did you like this short and beautiful story? If you liked it, then pray for these nuns to help poor children and seek to make them known to all your friends.